Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Hollow Knight. I'm back here, which is where I fell down inside this chest and there was a uh, mini boss fight, I guess? But last episode, I heard a caterpillar and I can still hear a caterpillar. I can still hear a caterpillar up there somewhere. I bet it's up there and I have to wall jump to get to it. Um, map. Uh, markers. This gold marker here. There's a caterpillar here. I'll hopefully remember that later. <laughs> um, I assume you get like a wall jump or something so that I can get up there. But I can't get there as it stands, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be cut. I'm gonna cut, and I'll be back at an appropriate place. All right. So we're back, and I'm at this bench here. Which uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to go to the map proper to show this properly. I'm at this bench here, and I'm gonna go and head down to this marker here, which I can get rid of for now, because I know where it is. Um, this, I believe, was a place I needed to dash to get to. I can't remember specifically. I think it was underneath where I am now. Yeah, over this way. This seems familiar. Yep. Easy with a dash. Ooh. Well, this looks like a boss. Jesus. Ow. I guess they know you can dash at this point. It's worth noting, I suppose. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh shit, that fired faster than I thought it could. Well, I guess lucky me, I can heal. Once. There's little guys here that let you get soul back, I suppose. So that's nice. Also some Geo over here, which is also nice. Um... My assumption with this guy is that down attacks are probably a good way to go. Yeah, seems like it. That jump though, I need to dash to the right, obviously. There we go. Seems to be correct option. I think I got it. Pattern recognition. <laughs> so if he jumps, I gotta run under him, and if he charges, I gotta do double down attacks. Seems to be the correct way of doing things. In fact, I don't even need to dash, I don't think. There we go, got him. Interesting. I figured I probably should have killed those guys, but I didn't, so that's that. He gave me 300 though. So if he respawns, worth farming, although I don't think he will. It gave me like boss music, which makes me think he doesn't respawn. That's how this seems to work for the most part. What's up here? Oh, secrets. Interesting. Can I hit these back? Yeah, I can. Oh, 
I'd try up hitting. Oh, they close when you get close to them anyway, so it's less relevant. I want to kill it though, if I can. Fucking. <laughs> Not worth it. Um, let's go down, I suppose. Oh shit. Run away. Just keep going. Interesting. I'm gonna go left, just in case there's an easy enemy that I can kill. It doesn't look like there is. So I can get across this water by going the bottom way, but I have a feeling I'm supposed to go the top way. And the bottom way is a way back if you fail. Shit. I will cut and I will be back there, I suppose. Map updated, though. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. Alright, we're back. Pretty much. We're in this crappy room in the middle that had like a million dudes. Also, I want to go to the right. I don't want to die whilst doing so. Ow. Geo. Sweet. Uh, anything else up here? Doesn't look like it, just you. Which is fine. You actually make those jumps, I don't know why I felt the need to dash before, but I did. Sweet. Um, so let's go like this. Like this. There's a chest up there. Which I very much want. Oh, so you could have actually gone either way. It seems like it doesn't make a difference which way you go. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, so this guy here, though, I have to use. To get over there. Which allows me to get up here to this chest. Which just has money in it, but I like money. Had actually a fairly sub Pretty sure I heard a caterpillar. Yeah, I heard a caterpillar. It actually had a fairly substantial amount of money. Oh, there he is. Over there. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I should have healed before doing that. I was far too confident in my own abilities right there. <laughs> I'm gonna cut once again. Alright, we're back. Exactly the same place. And this time... I'll do better. I played it safe and did it for slightly longer than I needed to. Hello, come attack me. Cool. So I got all my stuff back. Also, got Caterpillar, which is nice. Also, there's a shortcut back down there, which is interesting. This doesn't look dashable. At all. Um, maybe? Nah. See, I can't get a double dash off in time for that, so this looks like not possible? Huh. From here, maybe. No. Nah. Interesting. So I guess I have to head back now. Because there's nothing I can do here now, I don't think. Alright. 
cool. So I shall come back there. Soon. Alright, I'm gonna cut. Alright, we're back. Okay. Also, I found a trick with this game is that if you want to fast travel to a bench, or specifically the last bench that you rested at, you can just quit out of the game and reload and you will load back at the bench you were at. So that will save you some time for backtracking purposes. Um, next, I want to go... I think I'm now complete with everything I can do in the green path. Yep. So I'm actually going to head up to Forgotten Crossroads. So I'll cut again and see you there. <laughs> Alright, so we are back. Uh, to the Forgotten Crossroads. Uh, so first things first, I want to head all the way down and try that spot. Hmm. Southernmost point I have on my map. Uh, what was this way? This might have been something I couldn't do as well. I'm actually going to check this way first. This may have even been a dead end, in all honesty. May as well heal. Ah, right. Maybe. Like, I'm sure not intended, but maybe. If you guys can see what I'm planning here. Nah. Later upgrade, I'm sure. God damn it. That, that's a later upgrade, I think. Alright, play this safe. Alright. Where's the closest bench? Was there a bench down here? No, there wasn't actually. There was one kinda to the right. I'm gonna go to the right first, go to the bench there. Just for safety. Alright, I'm back. I went the wrong way. Down here is where the bench is. <laughs> Which is the way I have to go anyway. Coincidentally. Um, I'm going to run in here, just for... Alright, now I can heal up to two. That makes me feel a lot safer. <laughs> if I die, I teleport all the way back to the green path, which is why I'm slightly worried about it. But in here is a bench, and it's very close to where I need to be. Also, this will heal me, which is nice. So that's nice. Cool. So that's my respawn point set, which is very useful. Um, but what I actually want to do is go this way anyway. And there was this jump here that I can now make. Interesting. I wonder if this is taking me to a new area. Or... Interesting. This is the second time I've found floor that, like, wobbles like this. I assume it's... I get, like, an upgrade that will allow me... Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I'm assuming I'll get an upgrade that'll allow me to break through them, but... Who knows. Oh! We're back in this place. The Fungal Wastes. So I've actually been in these places before. There was another entrance through the green path. Ow. Weird. They can only attack below them though, so that's something I suppose. New area, by the way. And again, it looks incredibly distinct and really, really pretty. Whoops. Whoa. 
Whoops. Whoops. Well, now I have to climb back up, because that's just what I have to do. This is where I was, right? Yeah, I didn't fall that far. <laughs> Alright, so down here was that guy, and then there was down here... Yep, okay. So nothing outrageous, actually. I didn't fall as far as I thought I did. It seemed like a, a horrendously long fall, but... Hello? Interesting. I have no idea how you would get through there. I guess maybe you could get an ability to, like, swim through this stuff later? God damn it. Heal, please. Uh, here is where I want to be. Eh, it's straight up hurt you. Interesting. Maybe you can turn the water off. I question that one. It looks like you can stand on the lip on the edge there. Maybe you can't. I've already missed a door, by the way, but I'm going to keep going. The music in it. You an enemy? Yes. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Stop grouping me. Mm. Ah shit, I am locked in here. Mm. Fuck. I had a lot of money on me too. Like 700 or something? Map updated. Oh, okay. It barely updated. Uh, speaking of which, a couple of things I want to do. Uh, start with... And get rid of this. Um, secondarily... No, sit on the bench. I want to change some of these out. This I'm not finding very useful. Um... Shaman Soul would be nice. I think I'm going to go with this one. And this one. So, that will now allow me to see where I am on the map, which will help me somewhat. Um, I may as well get Soul while I'm here, right? That will allow me to see myself on the map, which will help a bit, both for you guys and for me. There's a few times where I've, like, lost my place. Like, lost where I am on the map, but it doesn't take me long to figure out where I am, but... Uh, forgotten. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go up here, down to the fungal, gro fungal growth. I think, um, there's two things I'm going to do that is going to differ from what I was doing just then. Um, first things first. Fuck. I knew it too. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to actually go right here. In the off chance that Cornifer is here. You look like MPC. Also, that's a bench apparently. Hello? Don't try to sneak past me. I can smell you. Mm. Do you collect a lot of Geo? Give me Geo and you can see something. Nice.
A pauper? Not enough geo. Leave now. Return with more geo. I mean, um, okay. I mean, I can get enough geo pretty easily. It's on my corpse. I just need to go back to where I was. Uh, so I want to go down this way. Damn it. So I do want to kill these mushroom things. Huh. I mean, let's just go. Yeah, I killed your babies. How's that sound, you bitch? I don't have enough soul, I need to hit one more of these guys. Now that one's dead, I think I'm probably going to be fine. I don't like the idea that I have to, uh... Okay, both dead. Fairly easy, I suppose. Charm notch. Oh, a charm notch, so I can add more charms. That's very useful. Ugh, I kind of want to go further, but at the same time, I'm going to go back to that guy that I spoke to. Um, look, I can show you my trick. Go back to the main menu, start game, continue. We'll come back to that guy. <laughs> Hello. You've changed your mind, have you? Give me Geo and you can see something nice. Sure. Let me show you then. Take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for more Geo. More Geo! Interesting. All right, let's start from far. Fragile Heart. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. Oh, hang on. It's actually him talking, I think. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Fragile Greed. Very, very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more Geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. Then bring any Geo find back to me. And Fragile Strength. Go weak, aren't you? You should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It will make you stronger. Your enemies and everyone else will fear you at last. I assume up attack power, up item find, up health. Uh, what can I afford? Either this one or both of these. I think I'm going to go for both of these. Once again, I really want to buy the lantern, but <laughs> they keep giving me new shit to get. Alright, so if I go here and I put on, uh, here, they both cost two, so if I get rid of compass for now, after just talking about how it would be useful to have on, and I go fragile greed, actually the better one to see would be, um, fragile heart, yeah, that like gives me way more health, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven health. Uh, 7 health as opposed to what do you normally have? 5. So extra 2 health, that's significant. But I think I'm going to keep the greed one on for now. Um, it's about 25 minutes in after all my editing, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be it for, he said not to sneak past him, but there's nothing there. Hello? Hmm. 
It's a weird character. Anyway, uh, we're sitting about 25 to 30 minutes in um, after my editing and shenanigans of running around the map. So I'm going to leave it here, and next episode we're going to continue and explore more of the Fungal Grove, I think it's called. Was it the Fungal Grove? Uh, map. Oh, it doesn't even tell me here. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.